everyone, welcome back to Read a Real Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read a story about a cookie who gets a little confused about what type of cookie he actually is. It's called Tough Cookie. Let's get started. Tough Cookie, a Christmas story by Edward Hemingway. Once upon a time, while Fox was visiting Christmas Town in the land of holiday treats, a little cookie, still warm from the bakery oven, burst out the front door and shouted, I'm a sweet cookie. Well, hello to you too. And since you brought it up, you do look sweet. Of course I'm sweet and fast. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the sugar cookie man. Fox never could resist a challenge, so he gave chase, shouting back, You look very sweet, sweet enough to eat. Ha, ha, just try to eat me. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the sugar cookie. Mm. Hey, Fox was pretty fast and he loved sweets. Crunch, he ate the sugar cookie man. But Cookie wasn't sweet at all and Fox spit him right out. Blech. You taste awful. He's a little mad. How dare you? I'm a sugar cookie. I taste wonderful. Sorry to break it to you, my little friend, but you taste terrible. Plus, I think I just broke my tooth. You are one tough cookie. But I'm sweet. He says, um, no, you're not. And here he says, but if I'm not a sweet cookie, then what am I? A slow poke who tastes terrible? What do I do now? Boo hoo. There, there, don't cry. Hmm, maybe you just need some sweetening up. You think so? It's worth a try. So after a quick trip to the dentist to get his tooth fixed, Fox took Cookie to the Christmas Town Spa, where the elves dipped him in delicious eggnog, sprinkled him with powdered sugar, and sang him sugary sweet Christmas carols. Fox gave him a lick, but Cookie still tasted terrible. Hmm, you said you were a slow poke. Maybe we should work on your running instead. So Fox signed up Cookie for the sweet treat Christmas race that very afternoon, and they headed for the park. But Cookie's stubby legs and lack of experience made it impossible for him to keep up with the more seasoned runners. And as hard as he tried, run, run as fast as you can, Cookie. He came in last place. Here's all the runners. And here's Cookie way back here. Cookie was exhausted, and he didn't feel so tough. Was he cut out for anything? Fox thought so. Every treat in Christmas Town should be able to build itself a proper gingerbread house. You can too. I'll help. Okay, said Cookie. So they found a nice little spot in the gated community of Cookie Cutter and got to work building and decorating. But when they were finished and Cookie went inside his beautiful new home, crash! It didn't exactly hold up. 
And that's when Cookie crumbled. I'm not sweet. I'm not fast. I can't even make a gingerbread house. Everything I do is half baked. Don't give up, my little cookie. We'll figure this out. You've just got to hang in there. Why not hang with us? We've been looking forward to meeting you all day. That's what all of these said. Huh? said Cookie. What do you say? It makes perfect sense seeing as we're Christmas tree ornaments and you are too. I am? Of course you are, silly. You're not like other cookies. You're special, baked with glue and lots of salt. With a little hole in your head for a ribbon. So that's what that's for. I should have guessed. Cookie finally knew what he was made of, and he couldn't have been happier. That afternoon, he hung with care from a branch on the biggest Christmas tree in the center of the park with the sweetest view in town. Overjoyed, Cookie shouted for all the world to hear, Look, look, look at me. You can't reach me. I'm an ornament on a tree. Make some room up there for me, Cookie. Fox never could resist a challenge. The end. I loved reading with you today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up below. You can also click on the subscribe link. That way, every time we post a new book, you'll get a notification and we can read together again soon. If you'd like activities to go along with these books, head over to readaroukids.com. You can also click on the link in the description. There, we do games, puzzles, science experiments, and all kinds of different crafts. For our free monthly activities, follow us on all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.